Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today I am doing the quarantine tag. I was tagged in this video by Shanji, living life to the fullest. And there's some questions about this whole being stuck in the house. So thank you girl for tagging me. We're gonna get into it. Make sure you check out her channel, Shanji living life to the fullest. She has a nice channel. So she does a lot of, um, cooking things she does some home decor easy DIY using just stuff around your house she's doing her weight loss journey with um, what is Weight Watchers WW she was doing that um, just a lot of different female empowerment home stuff all under one roof check her channel out great great person so let's get into this quarantine tag Question number one, did you prepare for quarantine or did you wait for the last minute? Um, I'm still not prepared for quarantine. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not a big prepare, you know, the end of the world is happening. Let's all run out and get all the stuff. I don't do that. Um, we, once we found out, you know, we should probably stay home. We just grab essentials more or less just you know making sure we got food and everything but I didn't go out and get a whole bunch of toilet paper or water and all this stuff I mean we already have that stuff in bulk basically anyway so um <clears throat> I was not a big preparer so I guess I'm on the I guess I waited to the last minute type of thing number two are you secretly happy to be home or miserable and can't wait to go back outside. Um, I am not secretly happy to be home. I am happy to be home. I'm out there on the porch, out there like um, Prince Akeem and <laughs> coming to America. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been enjoying the break of, you know, having to get up and go to work every day. <laughs> I still do go outside though. Um, <clears throat> you don't know my husband had pancreatic cancer so he's at the very end of his radiation treatment so we've been out every day because for the last five weeks he's had to go five days a week to get radiation so we still do go outside for that and then you know if we need something from the store we'll pop in the grocery store or run to Target real quick and pick up some essentials that we need but I do I, I am missing the outside as far as being able to just go and do whatever like going to the movies stuff like that um going out to restaurants that part i do miss because that was something that we like to do go on date nights or go happy hour with my friends um my husband's a big movie goer so we went to the movies a lot we missed that part of it but actually being in the house i love i i could sit in the house all day and be perfectly happy for three, who was the last person you checked on during quarantine? Probably my daughter. She's pregnant. Um, so we check on her a lot, make sure she's doing okay. Um, uh, that's probably about it. I check with my best friends. <laughs> we talk every day like, what are you doing? We miss you. Come outside and play. Uh, there's not really much that we're like concerned about as far as somebody needed to be checked on like that but yeah i do check on my daughter because she is pregnant she is still working because she works in the healthcare field so make sure she's good four how do you normally spend your time um well like i said every morning we get up and we go to the cancer center and then depending on what's going on we might stop by target walk around there for a little bit get a little exercise come back home and then i am just hanging out at home, watching YouTube, watching whatever's on TV. Um, a couple of days a week, my grandson has to come over while his parents go to work. So I'm doing whatever it is that can entertain a four-year-old. <laughs> but for the most part, just in the bed, watching TV, chilling out. Every now and then I'll take a random nap, but I'm not doing a whole lot of napping which is crazy because when i'm at work i'm like oh my god i would die to take a nap now i'm just up 
Number five, who are you quarantined with? I am quarantined with my husband, my son, the dog, and my parents, um, for the most part. And then a couple days a week, my grandson is here, but he goes home, but that's us. Number six, have you been outside and how many times? Yes, <laughs> been outside just about every day. The weekends though, I try to stay in the house unless it's absolutely something I have to go to the store and get. Um, Saturday and Sunday, we are in the house. Monday through Friday, we go out just in the morning for his cancer treatments. Number seven, how many hours a day do you sleep? Um, well, normally I'll sleep like seven or eight hours a night. Um, the last week or so, I've been staying up a little bit later. It'll, I'll stay up till like midnight, one o'clock. But then I'm getting up at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I'm still getting, <laughs> still getting my eight hours of sleep. I love my sleep, so I take that seriously. Like, I don't miss out on too much sleep. Number eight, what is your favorite snack during quarantine? Um, I don't have a favorite snack. I, well, let's see. Swedish fish, some Starburst, maybe. I actually haven't had any Starburst. I've had Starburst jelly beans. But um, this week I'm eating some, um, this is my snack this week, Cheez-Its. This is really good. So like last week I had just the regular Cheez-Its and this week I got this one because it's like a sweet and salty mix. I love a good mix of sweet and salty. And this has some good stuff in there. So I've been eating that. Um, cheese and crackers we've been eating every now and then. So not been doing too much crazy snacking though. Something like I'll get like one box or something or a bag of chips that'll last like all week maybe some Doritos and then like just make it last all week so I'm not going through stuff like crazy number nine what have you been watching on television um well on actual TV the only thing I watch is um Roseanne well the Connors when that was on um I watch the mask singer and I watch Grey's Anatomy. Those are like the staples of weekly shows that I watch. During the day, I don't even really watch TV. Uh, I'm watching YouTube, catching up on the, all the subscriptions <laughs> that I am subscribed to. Or if somebody's, you know, supporting my channel, then I'll go back and watch one of their videos. I watch a lot of Netflix. Of course, I binge Tiger King. Um, I was watching All American, which was really good, and I finished the second season. So now I'm like, okay, when's the next one coming? Um, I was watching Apple TV. I was watching Pluto TV, thanks to some subscribers who was telling me about that. Um, that's probably about it. I think the majority of the day I'm catching up on YouTube. Um, and then I'm just watching stuff on Netflix. And then at night, like to fall asleep, just to have the TV on, I'm always watching Nick at Night. The Nick at Night? Whatever the channel friends come on. <laughs> and I just have that in the background until I fall asleep. Number 10, how much toilet paper did you buy? Regular amount. Um, even here in Delaware, there was a lot of people was going around looking for toilet paper. I think when the movement first started and it was like nobody could have find any toilet paper, we had already had like a big case of it because um, we always just get like the big case and it lasts for a decent amount of time. And we did one time we're in the Target and just randomly saw a nice case. So it's like, oh, let's just grab it. But we haven't been like hoarding toilet paper or anything just get like the 24 case and when that's done you just go back and get another one now i think the the scare has slowed down a bit so everybody is not having trouble finding toilet paper okay and then number 11 was shanji's bonus question and her question was are you getting up every day and putting clothes on or what are you wearing during quarantine <laughs> Um, and for the most part, I do put clothes on just so because I have to go out every morning. Um, 
but it's it's standard pair of tights or some sweatpants and um whatever shirt I grab and <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real sometimes I might put the same thing on the next day after bathing of course um now to keep it real real if I know that I'll because we can't I can't go in the cancer center they're trying to keep as many people out as possible so if you're not getting treatment or you don't have an appointment they don't want you to come in so most of, I'm just sitting in the car and then we're coming right back home so on most of these days <laughs> the bra is optional um yeah I put my little hoodie on or put my sweater on and I'm just free <laughs> it's gonna be real hard going back to bras when the real world opens back up I'm telling y'all it's gonna be crazy um but I, I do put something on every day. Okay, now we're gonna do a bonus bonus question. Since Shanji did a bonus question, I'm gonna do a bonus question. And that is for the ladies, or even the men if you're watching, how are you grooming during quarantine? <laughs> are you getting up every day and combing your hair? Are you <clears throat> doing your nails, doing your feet? You see, my hair is a hot mess. So I actually washed and like retwisted the first two rows of my hair last week, but that's pretty much all I have done. Um, I need to do my feet badly, and I actually have a foot bath, and one of these days I'm gonna soak my feet and give them a good scraping because they are not, <laughs> not cute at all. I was like, when this is over, I'm gonna run to the hair salon, run to the nail salon, get my feet done, because I might even go and get my eyebrows done and put some makeup on because my poor husband got to look at this every day. I was like, if he ain't left me now, he ain't never going to leave me because <clears throat> it be rough out here. <laughs> um, I do keep up with my nails only because I don't do much to them. Um, <clears throat> like if they're snagged or something, I'll do a file, maybe put on some clear polish because I do like to keep them natural um but the feet oh my god feet are horrible <laughs> all right there you have it that is the quarantine tag um if you are watching this and you are a creator i invite you to do the tag i don't like to call people out just because then they feel obligated to do it even though i like doing stuff like this that doesn't mean you like to do it. So if you're watching and you have a YouTube channel, then I am hereby tagging you to do this. I will put the questions in the description box. All you gotta do is, you know, copy and paste. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up just because we're all quarantined in the house. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.